Hello, my name is Lauren Ayra Lozada. Today we will be discussing sound in different medias. Tulpins and other ocean dwelling animals rely upon sound waves to communicate with other animals and to locate food and obstacles. The reason that they are able to effectively use this method of communicating over long distances is that sound travels so much faster in water. Sound waves can travel through other materials beside air. The speed in which sound travels in a given medium highly depends on the density of the medium. Sound is usually fastest in solids where its molecules are closest together and slowest in gases where molecules are far test apart. Here are some examples of the speed of the sound in different materials that are classified as solid, liquid, and gas. During the Japanese era, soldiers lie flat with their ears on the ground to listen to the footsteps of approaching enemies. Surprisingly, steps can be distinctly heard even from a distance. The elasticity also affects the speed of sound. The elastic property of a material refers to its tendency to maintain its shape and not deform when a force is applied to it. Rigid materials such as steel will experience a smaller deformation than rubber when a force is applied to it because rubber is more flexible. Elastic materials vibrate at lower speed because their particles return to the original position at lower rates. Sound travels very slowly in elastic materials than rigid materials. In fact, this type of materials, such as rubber, can be used for soundproofing. Generally, the elastic properties of material have a greater influence on the speed of sound density, but you have a general patterns of speed in different media, which is velocity of solid is greater than velocity of liquid and velocity of liquid is greater than velocity of glass. Soundproofing is defined as an any method of reducing the ability of sound to travel between two points and is accomplished by the reduction of noise and the absorption of noise. One of the simplest materials used in soundproofing is rubber where it uses its elastic properties to slow down and or absorb unwanted sound in a structure. Sound also travels faster if it's hotter. As if substance heats up, its molecules move faster, so they collide more frequently. The more frequent they collide, the faster the speed of the sound in the material. The speed of the sound is an ideal gas in a given temperature. In Kelvin, is given by the formula speed of sound is equal to the initial speed in a absolute temperature times the square root of temperature over the initial or absolute temperature. Especially for air, the speed of sound in air can be approximate using the equation speed of the sound is equal to 331 meter per second plus 0 0.606 meter per second per degrees Celsius times temperature of the air in degrees Celsius. This stems from the fact that for one degree Celsius rise in the temperature, the speed of air increased by 0 0.606 meter per second. This approximation can only be accurate that is within 1% of true value from six negative 66 degrees Celsius to 89 degrees Celsius. The speed of sound in the air in room temperature of 20 degrees Celsius is 343 meters per second. The other factors such as humidity and pressure can also affect the speed of sound in air. 
Temperature generally affects the speed in which sound travels. That is, hotter the medium, the faster so the sound propagates. In fact, the for the hottest recorded temperature, temperature on Earth, which is 53 degrees Celsius, the sound will travel at about 363 meters per second. On the other hand, the coldest temperature recorded is negative 89 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, the sound will travel at around 278 meters per second. That, that's a difference of 85 meters per second, which is typically speed of a speeding car in a highway. That's all. Thank you.